Assalamualaikum my dear students how are you I hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to NIVS home school I am Ashish Bishash an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english version school morning ship today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 1 so my dear student let us start our class today is our lecture number 21 and there is a good news for you there is no HW today but you learn this very carefully because uh, two questions will be appear at your examination from this five question so this is very very important so you must learn this very carefully my dear student there are five odd problem i have taken this odd problem from your textbook that means elementary mathematics book so my dear student let us solve number one in grade one of a school there are 24 boys and 25 girls how many students are there in grade one of the school my dear student please listen the story suppose your class has four boys and five girls your class has four boys and five girls now total how many students cause four boys are students and five girls are also students so how many total students we just do addition and we get the answer that means four plus five nine nine students just like this we shall solve this one here there are 24 boys and there are 24 girls if we add then we get the result i hope you have understood now let us we shall solve this number one there are there are 24 boys there are 25 girls okay as we need to find out the total students so we must do addition so here we write plus sign now for now we uh, add at first ohms place number that means here 4 and 5 if we add 4 with 5 then we get 9 and 2 plus 2 we get 4 so 49 and this time we write students okay okay here we write total and this is the answer as our solution is done we must write answer if you don't write answer then some marks is deducted from your answer script so you must run write answer and by the student please listen some of you write just like this 49 students okay this is absolutely wrong if you write in this way then some marks is deducted from your answer script you must write just like this way here you write total then equal sign and in this row you write 9 and in this row you write 4 so 49 students okay i hope you have understood number one done then we shall solve question number two okay when you want to solve a odd problem first of all we read this after that we make a plan and finally we start to solve so first of all we read bina spent 20 taka for guava and 30 taka for Udabel. and how much taka did she spend that means suppose you went to a market and bought a pen 5 taka and a pencil again 5 taka then how much you spend in market you just do addition and you get your result so 5 plus 5 10 that means in market you spend 10 taka just like this one we shall solve question number two bina Spend 20 taka for guava and 30 taka for wood apple and we do addition to get the total amount of cost so write first number two bina spent 20 taka for guava okay now bina as a girl so you must write she she has spent 30 taka for wood apple okay 30 taka for wood apple and we need as we need to find out the total cost so we must do addition so here plus sign 
and 0, 0. 3 plus 2, 5. That means total 50 taka. Okay, and you must write answer 50 taka. And so easy math, and I hope you can easily solve this. Okay. Next, we shall solve question number three. So, first of all, we read this question. A story book of 50 pages. This means a story book has 50 pages. Mita already read 20 pages. How many pages has she not read? My dear student, suppose you have a story book. Suppose you have a story book. You have already read from this. Sorry, you have a story book, and that book has 10 pages that book has how many pages 10 pages and from these 10 pages you have already read five pages now how many pages left yes the amount is five so just like this one we shall solve question number three story book has 50 pages Mita already read 20 pages so first of all write a story book has a story book has 50 pages okay now Mita read it is in past form for this reason we don't do here is Mita read 20 pages and left how many pages left that means we do subtraction okay so here we give minus sign now we do subtraction that means 0 0 0 if we subtract 2 for 5 then we get 3 so 30 pages left and here we write left I repeat you must write this 0 in this way in this row and 3 in this row okay you don't write here and there okay it's, you should bear in mind and answer 30 pages i hope you have understood so three number done next we shall solve question number four so first of all we read the question after that we make a plan then we shall start to solve okay so taslima had 37 blank papers taslima has how many blank papers 37 she used 15 of them to draw pictures how many blank papers were left with her okay so Taslima, suppose you, you have how many pages? Uh, suppose you have mm, 15 pages. You have 15 pages. From these 15 pages, you used to draw 10 pages. Now, how many pages left? We do subtraction and we get the result. That means 5. So, you have 15 pages. From 15 pages, you draw 10 pages. So, how many pages left? We do subtraction 10 from 15 and we get the remain pages. That means 5 pages. Just like this one, we shall solve question number 4. Taslima, a girl who had 37 blank papers. She used 15 of them to draw. And how many blank papers were left with her? So, first of all, we write Taslima had. Taslima had how many blank papers? 37 blank papers. Okay, she used, she used, how many blank papers? 15 blank papers. Okay, now we do subtraction. Okay, so left equal, do subtraction, we subtract 5 from 7, then we get 2 subtract 1 from 3 then we get 2 blank papers and it is the answer as our solution is done we must write answer okay I hope you have understood now my dear student we shall solve question number 5 Halima had 25 books. Halima had how many books? 25 books. She purchased 14 more books from the book fair. How many books?
books did she then have now? Dear student, suppose you have five books. You have five books and you went to Ekushe Boy Mela and from that Boy Mela you buy two more books. Now how many books do you have now? You do addition and you get the answer. Five plus two that means seven. Now you have seven books. Just like this one, my dear student, please notice Halima had 25 books. She purchased 40 more books. That means we write here Halima had 25 books. Okay. She purchased purchased 14 books total 5 plus 4 9 2 plus 1 3 now she had 39 books okay as our solution is done we must write answer my dear student this is our today's class okay i repeat from this five odd problem two odd problem will be at your questions paper you have to answer the two questions that means two questions come and you have to answer these two questions and these two questions contains 20 marks so a lot of marks you must do this what problem very carefully okay if you can solve this five then you can easily get this 20 marks so my dear student i hope you have understood my today's lecture keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum